This is our son William and his wish was to go to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Our son William was born June 8, 2014. At about two, two and a half months old, he went from eating a lot to mm -hmm. not eating as much. We knew just something wasn't right. And after our third pediatrician that we took William to in Utah, we were referred to the University of Utah, the children's hospital there. And after a series of testing that they did at the hospital, they said it was a good chance it was a type of leukodystrophy. A leukodystrophy is a genetic disorder that has no cure. Um, it affects children between the age of three and six months old. And it's fatal. So they told us to take William home to watch him die, to take pictures now as he's smiling at us because in the next couple of months he will lose his sight. He will go blind. He will go deaf. He'll start to have intractable seizures. You can't stop them. He will start to have such severe nerve pain that you can't hold him anymore. And eventually he will die. And at that time he was five and a half months old. And we did some researching after we brought him home, just completely shocked. We had nowhere to go. We had nowhere to turn. Nobody had heard of this disease. We have found a doctor at the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. They told us that they wanted to see him because he was early in the stages of the disease that he could still hear and he could still uh, see and he wasn't having seizures. He was just, he was just William. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to take him to Pittsburgh within the next three days. After 15 days of chemo, he had the stem cell transplant. Three months after that, we were able to go home. I was able to get a job uh, in, uh, in the Quad Cities, and uh, that's when we wound up moving here. We applied to Make-A-Wish in December of 2016. There was another family that had Crab A disease, and they had applied for Make-A-Wish and went to Disney, and it sounded perfect. To travel with William was just brought so much anxiety to us, but Make-A-Wish made it happen. We were treated like royalty from that point on. That was the best week of our lives. So we had on our Make-A-Wish shirts, and that right there is the golden ticket. Everyone just says, you know, they clap for you, they give you high fives, and you're just like, okay, it's just us, you know, and that, that made us feel very, very um, big. To see him smile and his eyes light up and to see all this attention on him, now, now he can't get enough. Now, now he wants attention from everybody and because he deserves that. That's just what he deserves. We never would have done anything like this had it not been for Make-A-Wish and the lovely volunteers that helped us organize our thoughts and to give us calmness during a time of a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. Let us know that you're taken care of and what can we do for you. And we cannot thank Make-A-Wish enough for making our son's dream come true of going to Disney and being a prince for a week. So we thank them very much. <laughs>